Hey guys, so today I'm doing a lip swatch video for you on these BH Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. These are affordable and they are beautiful. The shade range is so stunning, so I had to do a lip swatch video for you guys today. So these run for $11 originally, but they always have them on sale, like at the moment while I'm filming this, they're $8.50. I think there are 17 shades, I have every shade here. They are just stunning colors. So the packaging looks like this, this video isn't sponsored or anything by the way. The packaging looks like this, it's just clear so you can see the colors with a black cap. Shade name is on the bottom of each one. Is that a scent? I can't really smell anything. I don't think they really have a strong scent or anything. I can't smell it anyway. The color on my lips right now is sandy. I'll put a little overlay on how well it applies. It goes on so smoothly. It goes on opaque. You don't have to layer it up or anything. It didn't streak up. It's just a beautiful kind of nude color. It goes so well with this makeup look right now. This is definitely a favorite. So yeah, once again, that one there is called Sandy. Moving on to the next shade. These are quite difficult to remove as well. Like they really stick to your lips. Next up, I'm going to do the shade Muse, which if you watched my Kylie Jenner lip swatch video and dupe video, this was one of the dupes. This is a really pretty pale kind of stone nude. It's got a little bit of a silver gray kind of undertone to it. So you can see how easily it applies. I really, really like these, you guys. They kind of remind me in formula of the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks, like quite, not thick or anything, but kind of moussey almost, but still very liquidy, and they're just opaque. So once again, that one there is called Muse. Next up, I'm going to do the shade Daisy, which is a really pale kind of lavender, milky color. I haven't tried this one on before. Ooh, it's pretty. By the way, the applicator is a little doe foot applicator. It's quite small, but it's still quite easy to use because the formula is so silky, it just, glides on nice and easily. So that is what Daisy looks like. It is quite out there and it kind of does make my teeth look a little bit yellow. But if you're the kind of person that likes bold colored lipsticks and everything, you might like this one. On myself, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan, but the formula once again is beautiful. So once again, that's Daisy. Next up, I'm doing the shade Sorbet. This one looks beautiful. I haven't tried this one either. It looks like a nude kind of peachy nude. Ooh, it's very orangey. Do you guys remember way back, if you've been watching me for years, do you remember when I loved NYX Orange Soda Lipstick? It reminds me so much of that color. None of these colors so far have been streaky at all either. They just go on opaque. I keep saying the word opaque. So once again, that is called Sorbet. I really like this. It's a really fun spring nude, peachy nude color. Next up, I'm gonna go with the shade Samantha. This is a really pretty kind of purpley cool tone pink. Stunning, I love it. Where has this color been all my life? So it's like a purpley pink, but it's muted and it's just absolutely stunning. I am obsessed. Once again, that is called Samantha. I'm in love. Next up, I'm going in with the shade Serena and this is a kind of peachy pinky color. Oh, it actually looks a little bit different to what I thought it would. It's kind of like a rustic orange, like kind of a terracotta orange. I love that word beautiful. I like it with this eye makeup as well. Yeah, it's definitely like a muted kind of terracotta peach color. I really like it. What do you guys think? I like it with the kind of bronzer champagne tones in my eye makeup today. Next up, I'm going to do the shade Clara. This is like a deep kind of brown nude. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed with this. It's like rich chocolate. It's slightly warm toned as well. Honestly, you guys, I am so impressed with these products. Like they work so well. The colors as well, like, minus that lilac one, which I wasn't a huge fan of personally, all the other colors so far have just been like incredible. So that is what Clara looks like. It's quite deep on my skin tone. This would work with so many different skin tones. Let me know if you think I should do another brown lip makeup tutorial because I haven't done one in so long and I need to, I think. Let me know if you'd like to see it. Next up is the shade Tabitha. This color is so pretty. It kind of looks different to how I expected it would look. It's like a light peachy pink, but definitely more pink than peach. It's quite warm toned. Oh my goodness. It is so perfect. I love that feeling when you find a lip color and you try it on and it's so good. You're like, thank you. Thank you, makeup gods. This color is right up my alley. Tabitha, you are beautiful. I'm happy. It's the perfect light pink for my skin tone. Once again, that one is called Tabitha. Next up is the shade Endora, and this one is a dusty kind of, like a morph pink. That's pretty too. These colors 
whoever was in charge of picking them all, you did a great job. This application is not the best whatsoever, but that is what Endora looks like. It's a pretty pink, mauve dusty, dark pink color. Once again, I'm blowing you guys away with my awesome color describing skills. Next up, I'm going in with Jenny, and this one is a mauve pink again, like a pinky purple cool tone pink. I'll just show you it next to Endora. So this one is Jenny, J-E-A-N-N-I-E, -E, and then this is Endora. So they are quite similar, but Endora is a little bit darker. So once again, this one here is called Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, I don't know. Next up, I'm going to go in with Gladys, which is a purple color. Quite a cool toned purple, so like a bluish purple. Once again, the formula is incredible. It's not streaky or anything. Again, probably not really my total cup of tea. I wouldn't really wear this kind of color very regularly, but for those of you who like a bold color, perfect for you. We have three pinks here that look very similar. So we'll start with the palest one. This one here is called Princess. Oh my god! Again, like it's a little bit different to how I expected it to look. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's the prettiest light pink while still being bright as well. Since this is a milky color, like a very pale color, it has like a kind of white base to it. You have to just smooth out all of the lines, but it's so easy to do. Like it doesn't look patchy at all. It was really easy to make it look even. So there you go. It took like an extra 10 seconds to apply and it looks so pretty. I am so obsessed with this color. <gasps> Once again, that is called Princess and it is beautiful. This is called Cha Cha. It's like a deep hot pink really pretty it's very bold and very bright so once again that is called cha cha <laughs> just kidding they sent me two of cha cha that's why they looked almost identical well they are identical i was just trying to find a difference so i think i'm missing one shade you guys sorry about that the next shade i have here is called glory and this is a bright red just can't get over how easily these go on they just go on so smooth so that is Glory. It kind of looks like it's got a bit of a pink undertone to it. Very pretty, very bright. The next shade I have here is called Lust and this is a dark red. This is where we see if the formula is still good because a lot of super dark colors can go quite patchy. It goes on pretty damn evenly. There is a slight bit of streaking. Slight, slight. You can't even tell really unless you look really close, but you could use a lip liner if you really cared that much. To me, I would still happily just wear this alone. So once again, that is called Lust and it is beautiful. I love it. And then the last shade I have here is called Icon. Compared to Lust, Icon is more purple, as you can see. It reminds me of Smoked Purple by MAC. Again, with a little bit of extra patience, you can kind of even it out almost perfectly on your lips before it dries. So that one there is called Icon. It's a really beautiful dark purple color. Again, you could always wear a lip liner underneath if you want it to look even more perfect. I am so happy with these liquid lipsticks. They are beautiful. Let me know if there's any you really want to see me use in a tutorial. The formula, you guys, you have to try them. You have to give them a go. I'll put a link to where you can buy them down below. Make sure you check it out. Don't forget to have a look at my palette on BH Cosmetics as well. I do have my own eyeshadow palette. It's called the Shanexo palette. You can find it easily on the website. I'll put a link to that down below as well if you're interested in checking it out. I hope you guys have the best day and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Hey guys, if you want to watch some more of my videos, you can click on the screen or the links will be down below. Sorry if I'm talking really weird. I just got my wisdom teeth out a few days ago and I've got a like lisp or something happening. But anyways, the video on the left of the screen is a little colourful get ready with me video. And the one on the right is a does it really work on mechanical brushes. I hope you like them.